In the British parliamentary elections of May the 7th, 2015, David Cameron received a lucky surprise, because quite many polls had predicted another hung parliament with no overall majority. However, he was able to uh, gain a slight majority, 330 seats out of 650, with 36.9% of the vote, or 11,334,000 votes. Ed Miliband's Labour Party rose uh, slightly to 30.4% of the popular, popular vote, but in the seats fell to 232 seats. Nicola Sturgeons, uh, she already was the First Minister or Regional Prime Minister of Scotland, um, Scottish National Party, arose dramatically to 4.7% of the national vote and 56 seats, while Nick Clegg's Liberal Democrats were almost decimated, with just eight members returned on 7.9% of the vote. So David Cameron was able to form a purely conservative majority government. And during this, <clears throat> yeah, uh, during the previous parliament, uh, there had been the Scottish independence referendum in September 2014, which had narrowly failed with 55% voting to stay in Britain. And during this parliament, there would be the controversial Brexit referendum uh, in June 2016, which narrowly passed with 52% of the participating voters voting to leave Britain. Uh, as a result, David Cameron uh, resigned to be succeeded by Theresa May, Britain's second female prime minister.